Coffee and espresso are made up primarily of water, so using high quality water makes better tasting coffee and espresso. But there's another very important reason for using good water, and that's protecting your investment in brewing equipment. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark from Whole Latte Love. Today, we're talking water quality. I'll cover the methods for getting to a water quality for best flavor while also protecting your equipment. I'll have options including making your own water or using quality filtration products to get your tap water where it needs to be for best flavor and scale prevention. If you are using water with a mineral level which causes scale, I'll touch briefly on descaling options, including making your own low-cost descaling solution that's not vinegar or using the commercially available products. Let's talk about the flavor aspect first. I get asked all the time, hey Mark, why not use extra pure water like distilled or reverse osmosis water? On the surface now, that seems to make perfect sense. If it's pure, it's got to be better, right? And in fact, since those extra pure waters have no minerals in them, there's nothing to cause scale. But they can have the opposite effect of scale and cause equipment damage. More on that when I cover protecting your equipment. So back to flavor. Standard tap water, it's a relatively good solvent. It dissolves many things. Extra pure water that's distilled or RO treated, that's an even better solvent. Use it to brew coffee or espresso and lacking the minerals, it over extracts compounds and results in very bitter flavors in your coffee. On top of that, the minerals in water, they enhance flavor. It's kind of like salt in cooking. Without a little, food can be on the bland side. Now, of course, your doctor is going to tell you too much salt is not good for your health. And the same, yeah, it's true for the health of your brewing equipment. You want the proper balance, a mineral level which enhances flavor, prevents that bitterness due to overextraction, but is balanced so it's going to not clog the arteries of your machine with scale deposits. We service hundreds of machines every year here at Whole Latte Love, and scale is the number one cause of machine problems. In semi-automatic machines, it accumulates in boilers and on heating elements, solenoid valves, mushroom valves, vacuum relief valves, basically any interior component in contact with heated water. In super automatic machines, the same problems with the narrow passages of thermal block boilers used in those being especially susceptible to clogging with scale. So how do you get to water that's good for flavor and reduces or eliminates scale buildup? A few options. For semi-automatic coffee machines, use the in-tank filter as recommended by the manufacturer. They reduce water hardness, yet maintain a proper mineral level for good flavor. For some manufacturers like Jura, use a filter as recommended and you never have to descale any of their machines. For others, using a filter will extend the time between descaling maintenance by a factor of four or more. For semi-automatic espresso machines, a few options. For a plumbed-in machine, our favorite solution is the BWT Best Max Premium Cartridge Filter. This installs in line between your household plumbing and machine. Fully equipped, the system includes a pressure regulator and flow meter so you know when to change the cartridge. The Best Max Premium uses patented ion exchange technology to replace scale-causing calcium with magnesium to maintain flavor. When used properly, you will never have to descale your machine. If you have a plumbed-in machine, this is the way to go, and it's pretty much required equipment for dual boiler machines, which are very difficult, if not impossible, for most home users to descale. It's what I use here for my Proftec Pro 700. In my case, with water hardness of seven degrees, the small cartridge has a capacity of over 1,000 liters, and my cartridge cost with that is under 13 cents per liter. For reservoir-fed machines, there are pad filters like the BWT Best Save. Just drop in the reservoir and you are good to go for treating up to 100 liters of water, depending on filter size and your source water hardness. Another popular option is the 2.7 liter BWT Penguin Pitcher. It filters water, then remineralizes with magnesium to maintain that flavor. It's different than all the other filter pitchers on the market. Some just do carbon filtration and do nothing to treat hardness, while others remove most all the minerals and leave nothing behind for flavor. The BWT does it all and leaves you with water that will not cause scale and tastes great through your machine or for drinking straight.
One last solution is to make your own brew water, starting with pure distilled or reverse osmosis water. If you're interested in that, use the link up here to watch my video on how to make SCA spec brew water. It's straightforward. You start with pure water and using baking soda and magnesium from Epsom salts. You mix up concentrates, which you add to that, producing water that tastes great and is unlikely to cause scale due to magnesium supplying the hardness. And a reminder, do not use straight distilled or RO water in your machine. As I mentioned up front, it's an incredibly good solvent. Without the minerals added back in, it can cause the opposite of scale, which is corrosion of metal components. That's why you never see ultra pure water stored or transported in metal containers or pipes. At the start of the video, I said I would touch briefly on descaling and how you can make your own descaler. Before that, a couple things to know. First, if you've been using water that's likely to cause scale and you maybe neglected descaling maintenance, be aware you may run into problems. In severely neglected machines with scale, when you do finally descale, you can cause chunks of scale to dislodge and cause problems within the hydraulics of your machine. So unless you want to risk learning the hard way, keep up on descaling maintenance or use water that reduces or eliminates scale in the first place. Second, don't use vinegar to descale. If you want to use it for glass coffee pots, that's fine, but do not put vinegar in a machine. A couple of reasons for that. Scale built up in a machine is a rather porous material, it can soak up and hold on to the vinegar taste and smell, and then it can be really difficult to get rid of. A bigger problem is what it can do to the seals inside some machines. There was a manufacturer who mistakenly recommended descaling their appliances with vinegar. In hard water areas where customers were repeatedly descaling with vinegar, they ended up with quite a few machine failures due to the vinegar degrading the seals. Needless to say, that manufacturer, it's, they took that recommendation out of their manuals. What we recommend is using the descaling product that's recommended by the manufacturer. Now, I have had comments in past videos that think they're just trying to sell you something. And believe me, there's very little money to be made selling descaling solution. What it's really about is keeping their customers happy by making sure their machines continue to operate without problems. What I like about the products is they are formulated to work safely and provide the proper concentration of acid to get the job done. Now, all that said, you can make your own descaler using citric acid. You can use the link up here for my video on how to do that. And if you're in the vinegar camp, well, citric acid, it's generally much cheaper in bulk than even vinegar. It has no taste or odor, and it's what's used in many commercial descaling products. The trick is, since you're just mixing citric acid powder with water, there's no one concentration or recipe that's appropriate for every machine, so you'll be flying a little blind there on exactly how much to use. Of course, in my opinion, what you really ought to do is feed your machine with water that's going to significantly reduce or completely eliminate the need to descale in the first place and give you better tasting coffee. And the best way to do that is to use a filter that's right for your machine or situation. If you need some assistance, our coffee pros are ready to help get you the right filter all the way up to a complete inline system with everything you need for a DIY installation. Information on how to contact them by phone, chat, or email, that's down in the video description. Or you can use the comment section down there as well, and I'll help you myself with any questions you might have. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and I do hope you'll subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.